In this video, we're going to look at how to purchase cryptocurrency from a Bitcoin ATM. I did a search for some local Bitcoin ATMs in my area, and I found a few from a company called Bitcoin Depot. So let's start by heading over to BitcoinDepot.com and go over how to find local Bitcoin ATMs in your area. Bitcoin Depot allows you to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency instantly with cash at a Bitcoin ATM. This particular company currently has ATMs in Georgia, Alabama, Texas, Missouri, Illinois, Tennessee, Nevada, California, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Kentucky, Ohio, Florida, and Massachusetts. It says they have over 100 Bitcoin ATMs in the states mentioned. If you allow Bitcoin Depot to view your location, you can scroll down to the map and see the nearest ATMs to you. They also have a Bitcoin Depot wallet app, which you can download from the app store on your smartphone. You can use it to find Bitcoin ATMs in your area, and you can use it to actually store cryptocurrency for short periods of time. So since this section is all about purchasing Bitcoin, let's go up to the top menu, click on the instructions, and go to buy Bitcoin. This is where you can view step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually buy your Bitcoin from a Bitcoin ATM. First, you're going to need a Bitcoin wallet. You can download the Bitcoin Depot wallet, or you can use another wallet that you have. I'm going to use my Coinbase wallet. Next, you should find a Bitcoin ATM. When you get to the ATM, you're going to need to enter your phone number and create a PIN number for future uses. You can then click the Request tab to provide your wallet ID. The easiest way is to use a QR code and simply hold your phone about four to six inches away from the ATM code scanner. After you input your wallet ID, you can then enter the amount of cash you want to trade for Bitcoin. You will then have the option to either print a receipt or have one emailed to you. And that's all it is to it. It may take a while for your transfer to be completed because Bitcoin transfer speeds have been pretty slow recently. So let's head back over to the Bitcoin Depot homepage and find an ATM near me. I've already allowed Bitcoin Depot to view my location, so it should automatically come up on the map here. There we go. So here's my location, and it looks like the closest ones to my location are these three grouped together here. Let's click on the two closest ones here and get some more information. Looks like this one is located at a Sitgo gas station and is a buy-only ATM. This other one is at a Chevron gas station and is also a buy-only ATM. But this one's open 24-7. I think the one at the Chevron station is a little bit closer to my location, so let's head there now. Alright, so I just pulled up to the Chevron gas station. It was only about a 15 or 20 minute drive. I've actually never used the Bitcoin ATM before, so I'm interested to see how the process works. And that looks like it's it over there. It actually looks like a pretty nice machine. This is my first time purchasing Bitcoin from a Bitcoin ATM, so let's check out the process. So I'm going to start by pressing the touch to buy Bitcoin button. You will then be taken to a page to show you the rest of the instructions. We need to scan our wallet, deposit our cash, and receive our Bitcoin. This ATM only allows you to buy Bitcoin, so let's click on Buy Coins. Next, you will select the amount of Bitcoin you want to buy. I'm going to select the first option, which is $1 to $999. Purchases over $1,000 require an ID. Next, you need to identify your identity by entering your cell phone number. Once you enter your cell phone number, Go ahead and click continue. You should then be taken to the terms and conditions page. It says here that if you share your account with anyone else, you will be banned. Let's go ahead and click I agree to the terms. Next, you have to complete your customer profile. Let's go ahead and enter your first name and last name. I also just received a text from Bitcoin Depot talking about how to avoid Bitcoin scams. I guess this verifies I entered the correct cell phone number. So let's head back over to the ATM and complete our customer profile. I'm going to start by entering my first and last name. And once that's complete, I'm going to click confirm and continue. You should then receive another text message from Bitcoin Depot with a new SMS code. This is a security feature to make sure you identify your identity. Go ahead and enter the code into the ATM text field. Once that's complete, go ahead and click confirm transaction. You will then need to create a PIN number for your account and then verify that PIN. After you select a PIN number for your account, go ahead and click on continue. 
Now you should enter your email address to receive your receipt and updates. After you've entered your email address, go ahead and click confirm and continue. So now on to the fun stuff. This ATM allows you to purchase either Bitcoin or Litecoin. I think I'm gonna purchase some Bitcoin. To receive your cryptocurrency, you have to enter your wallet ID. You can either use a QR code or type it in manually. I'm gonna use the QR code from my Coinbase wallet. So let's start by opening up the Coinbase app on my smartphone. And once I have the app open, I'm gonna go over to accounts and then go to my Bitcoin wallet. At the top right, you should see a QR code icon for your Bitcoin wallet. Go ahead and pull up the QR code and then you wanna scan it on the ATM. Hold your smartphone about four to six inches away from the scanner. Your wallet ID should then be automatically pulled up on the ATM. Now we simply enter the amount of cash for the Bitcoin we wanna purchase. For my first ATM purchase and as an example in this course, I think I'm just gonna do $20. So I'm gonna get a $20 bill out of my wallet and then I'm gonna enter it into the ATM. I guess I should find the dollar slot first. Oh, here it is. So let's input our $20 bill and voila, I'm making a $20 purchase to receive 0.00133119 Bitcoins. Go ahead and click confirm. And there we have it. Now you can select to have a receipt emailed to you or no receipt at all. I also just received another text message from Bitcoin Depot confirming the transaction. So I think I'm gonna click yes to have a receipt emailed to me. And that's all it is to it. Here's the confirmation page where Bitcoin Depot thanks you, shows you the currency you used, the amount of Bitcoin you received, your Bitcoin address, and the rate that you bought the Bitcoin at. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And that's all folks. Bitcoin transaction speeds have been pretty slow recently, so I'll wait till I get home before I check my Coinbase account and make sure my Bitcoin got deposited. So I just got home, so now let's go over to Coinbase and make sure we received our Bitcoin. From the home page, let's go up to the top menu and click on the accounts tab. You can then click on your Bitcoin wallet to see your most recent transactions. I actually also made a purchase using Bitcoin today for $50, but below that transaction, you can see the Bitcoin I received from the Bitcoin ATM. I received 0.00133119 Bitcoins, which equates to about $16.71. If you click on View Transactions, you will be taken to Block Cipher where you can see the actual transaction on the Bitcoin blockchain. You can see the transacted amount, the fees associated with the transaction, when the Bitcoin was received, and the number of confirmations. So that's it for purchasing Bitcoin from a Bitcoin ATM. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, Jason here with Quantum Courses and I wanted to thank you for stopping by. Go ahead and hit the like button on the video and subscribe to Quantum Courses to get updated when we release new content. To get the full cryptocurrency masterclass where we go over how to purchase, invest, and trade cryptocurrency, head over to jasongandy.org and use promo code SITE10 for a special discount during checkout. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the course.